So today's video is another spiritual perspective, and I'm so happy for this one because this one was actually requested by one of you in the comments. And today we are going to be reading on Miss Normani. We're going to see all of the energy that's surrounding Miss Normani. If you don't know who Normani is, she's the girl that sings that song that goes, she just saw do, 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 do. And I believe she has a new album coming out, but she is a singer. And yeah, we're gonna just read on her and see what the universe wants us to know about Normani. We're gonna see what the universe wants us to know about her success as well. So let's get into it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night wherever you are. Welcome to My Creative Life. I'm Key, and right now I'm going to read on Miss Normani. Thank you so much for requesting the spiritual perspective, and I hope to see more requests in the comments. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I don't know a lot about Miss Normani. I'm not like, I'm not a fan, but I'm not like not a fan. I think whatever music that I've heard from her, it's pretty good music. But we are going to see what is going on with Miss Normani. I'm going to start by pulling some cards. Um, the phrase that I'm getting for Miss Normani right off the bat is that she is going to have a career that is successful in a way that is more relaxed. She is giving off laid back, relaxed, and successful. So I don't know if this is her current vibe, but it's just giving me vacation vibes. Like she is just a person who is always on vacation or just always relaxing. So I love that for her. I love that feeling that she gives right now. I love that she is just chilling. Okay. So ooh, we have a lot of cards that want to jump out, but I have this nine of cups that just came out. So this is more about her fulfillment. She sees, let me pick these up. I have the two of wands on the floor, as well as the six of pentacles wanting to come out. So this is definitely about her emotional fulfillment. I see that she is a person who enjoys her career, who enjoys life. She is looking for something that is more meaningful. She is definitely someone who is more involved with being in her present moment and just living life up. And that could be stemming from recent events that may have had her in the Six of Swords energy where she had to transition into this more calmer version of herself. So I see that she has made decisions to like travel the world and just be generous. So maybe she has dreams of being philanthropist with this Two of Wands here, as well as this Six of Pentacles. She might just want to travel the world and just be happy and be generous and not worry too much. So this is a very kind hearted person. This is a person that is certain and that is clear. Okay. So we have the moon card coming out. This is a person that is certain about themselves that has a sense of confidence that keeps them grounded and making the right decisions for their life. So there's a lot of people who she may have come into contact in the past or may have been warned about in the past that wanted to create a certain confusion about her, her brand and her image, or there's just like a lot of noise around her that causes, that could have caused any artist or creative who's in a space where they're dealing with comparisons or trends, things of that nature to lose themselves, lose their grounding, to lose their identity. And I see that Miss Normani is not that girl that is going to lose herself amongst all that noise. She is a person who is actually working on staying grounded when it just seems like she's receiving so much energy from someone or multiple people. Every time I tap into a celebrity and it seems like it's always like a female celebrity, I just see them having to put up so much barriers against people that are sending them so much energy. So this is secret haters. This is people that are secretly obsessed or always have an opinion or project their energy onto celebrities or someone that they believe is 
prettier than them, that has attained more than them. This is a running trend with celebrities. So I see that she is learning how to be grounded in her own craft and being in her own celebrity identity, not being like anyone else, not falling for the noise, the uncertainty, and the projections that everyone is sending. I mean, this is common for celebrities. They're always being analyzed and overanalyzed, like their looks. Oh, is Normani pretty enough? Is she light enough? Is she dark enough? Is she exotic? Like all of that is coming to an end. She's no longer going to let everyone else's projections create insecurity. So she is becoming more grounded in her presence and her being and feeling beautiful rather than trying to appease everyone's standards of beauty because we cannot do that. I mean, it's just so annoying that people have so many concepts of what beauty is that when they see a beautiful woman, they can't even just appreciate their beauty for what it is. Like that's annoying as heck. And that should not be the standard that we're setting for humankind. Like, oh, this person just has to be this kind of beauty. Oh, she's not as pretty as it's like, that's so pathetic. So we do see this 10, oh, I have not 10 of swords, but I have, yeah, one, two. Yeah, this is 10 of swords here in reverse so she is definitely letting go of backstabbing energy or this backbiting energy and letting go of this attachment to people she's elevating in her personality she's elevating in her self-speak and her self-talk i mean there's so many things that people go home and they create spells for i see like there's like people who may knowingly or unknowingly create spells but they speak and their energy is felt. And so she's creating a new narrative for herself as a person in her own life that is positive, that is fulfilled, and that is certain. So if you're in this mental state like this, where you have this 10 of swords in reverse moment, where you feel like you are, you had to deal with a lot of people talking about you, sending you spells, sending you subliminal messages, sending you negative energy and you let that ride for a while it is now time to speak over those voices use your own voice and use your own inner narrative because you are more important than what they are saying about you so i see that she is working on this and she has recently allowed herself to be happy and be inspired and be herself this is something that everyone can learn from be yourself be happy to be yourself and nurture your self image because the world is not the world is not going to be the place and i always say the world but there's not all negative in the world but if you look to the world first to give you that validation you're going to find the haters ready to talk in spirit way quicker than you're going to find anybody speaking good about you the haters are so much louder sometimes because they feel more confident in their hating energy right so She's tuning out those vibrations. She's tuning out those frequencies that seem to that seem to cause her to step out of her path and step out of her own sense of self sometimes. She's no longer allowing that and her inner narrative is changing. She's taking control over how she feels. And we have the Knight of Swords, a lot of swords energy. So these are challenges that she's overcoming with how she speaks to herself, how she speaks to her fans. This craft of hers is not a selfish craft. This is a craft that she wants to provide happiness to her fans through. This is something that she is taking seriously. So Knight of Swords in reverse, she might have been quicker in the past or people just in general. The past energy was that she would allow negative speak to determine her success. And she's slowing down because it seems like everybody was ready to speak down on her with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Everybody's ready to see failure. And this comes from competition and comparisons. Everybody's ready to see failure. So that caused her to speak negatively of herself, questioning herself. Maybe like anybody does it and everybody does it. This is not something that's just, oh, this is a Normani problem. It's not just a Normani problem. It's humankind. What we can learn from this is speak better of ourselves and not question ourselves. But there was a point where she would question herself, like, am I good enough? Like, we all go through it. Am I good enough? Am I supposed to be here? So we have the Ace of Swords upright. 
So the Ace of Swords in reverse would have led us to, would have led us to this feeling of we are definitely confused or not sure, but her Ace of Swords came out. She is, wow, it is definitely coming out in the upright position. So she's gaining control of the narrative. So we're going to see a lot more of Normani in the media. We're going to see more stories. We're going to see tabloids, of course. We're going to, you know, someone like that is smart. When it comes to marketing, we are going to see marketing on both behalves. She is putting out a work that is going to receive the criticisms that she actually likes. And it gives her more, more certainty. So what she is seeing is that the feedback is, constructive whether it is negative or whether it is positive she is now more resilient we have the seven of wands up here and she's having a grounding she knows that she can take control over her own reality even when people are putting their own input into her work or they're putting their reviews up or they have something to say so she is not doing this music thing or seeking success for others anymore it's not about everyone she is realizing that the people who love her will come to her as she becomes more of herself as she embraces more of who she is as she lives in her own energy from the inside out so she's a very grounded person she can handle so much oh my gosh i meant to take that little spray thing down, automatic Fabrice thing, but um, I didn't. But she is definitely coming into her herself a lot more. And this has been after a triumph where she is feeling like she is done battling something. She is now well rested and able to move forward in her life. So this is a big transition happening. Like it's to me, I'm getting the energy that she's not worried about celebrity status. She's worried or more in tune with happiness now. That is amazing. I mean, it doesn't mean that she's not gonna be a big celebrity, but she's not caught up in this whole competition that the general public tries to put celebrities in where it's like, let's say for instance, I'm just gonna bring in this as an example, like the whole Billie Eilish versus Taylor Swift thing. like. Who cares? They both are two different people. They both have their own craft. They have their own fans and they each are their own person. The problem is, is when we try to force people into competition. So those people speak the loudest, putting people in competition. Like it's just so unnatural for people to be in competition. Um, I do see the five of pentacles. So, Five of Pentacles here for her. Ooh. So she might not feel like she is abundant enough to reach her dreams. Um, maybe there is a budget that she wishes that she had, but people around her are not seeing this as a problem. It's like, there's no, you know, don't get caught up in the competition you don't need to have a big budget to be ultimately happy. So something that she's thinking about is like, you know, I want to be next level. I want to be so rich that I can give back. I want to be so rich that I'm like a philanthropist. And we have the lovers in reverse here. So maybe she's worried about that happening and she doesn't see that happening for herself, but there's like, People are encouraging her to see herself as being successful and just, you know, chill out, go with the flow. Don't, well, not really go with the flow, but calm down, no worries. Like, you don't need to worry about this right now. But she's worried about it. She is, this is something that she really wants. The reason why she really worries about it is because she really wants to do it. She has had events that may have happened in her life recently that causes her to want to do better for the world. And while she feels like she is not capable of doing it, or she is in a place where she wishes that she was way more capable than she actually is, the world is seeing this as this is not a challenge for you. 
So they are looking at her, her immediate circle is looking at her and they are saying like, you are completely capable of giving back, whether that is in energy, whether that is in your projects, you are completely capable of doing this thing. There is no need to worry about where it's gonna come from, the where the money comes from, how the money gets there. Um, there's another message with this five of pentacles here. I have the five of pentacles, I have the five of wands, and I have the lovers here. What's the message with the five of pentacles? There is another message that this card is symbolizing and wanting to help me to understand here with this divine message about Ms. Normani's energy. So, let's see. We have, okay, so she has to see herself. She's building, oh my God, all these pentacles came out. So we have strength, we have knight of pentacles, both of those cards are upright, and then we have the four of pentacles in reverse. So this five of pentacles is showing me that she has to create a stronger sense of abundance within herself. Um, hmm, with this four of pentacles in reverse, she doesn't need to be as frugal as she might have thought that she needed to be. Matter of fact, there seems like an energy that is blocking her as far as a scarcity mindset in the way of she wants to, you know, save. And she has this idea that saving would make her abundant, but really it's her being free with her spending that will create abundance in her life. So that's why everyone is like around her and they're like, just chill out because, ooh, yeah, they're like, just chill out because you can do whatever you want to do. Maybe she's more abundant than she's seeing for herself. And there are, there is a triumph on the way, a financial triumph. So, so she is going to see the money that she wants to see. But it's like, this is the most, you know, it's like she's so attached to it right now. Her projects will be successful and will give her the money that she wants. But it's like, you're, you're nervous for it. She's nervous for it. And I have the hermit here. Queen of Cups, yeah, she's very much on her own. She's She knows she can make it happen. She's having mixed emotions. She knows that she can make it happen and she feels that she can make it happen on her own. But it's like, if you get around people who are fabulous and wealthy, you kind of compare yourself. So she's going to have to be in a space of, I take inspiration from this. And I feel like I can do it more rather than, oh my God, this is a challenge. But there is a mixture of anxiety and anticipation there. So let's see what is going to result. I do see financial success happening for her from her projects. And it's going to be way more emotionally rewarding than just earning money in a way that she would not have wanted to earn money in. So Queen of Cups comes out. She is definitely focused on being more in tune with her emotions really creating things that speak to her and speak to people who have gone through the same thing. So, um, and I'm seeing a challenge here. I'm seeing like a rift between what the public wants and values versus what she values as an artist. So uh, the phrase that I'm hearing right now is people who just are not into what uh, the deeper music. Um, and I'm getting another example, like Rihanna's song, Lift Me Up. Like the general public was just not interested in something that is deeper, that is really emotional, that has a message, that has depth. The public just wants like this pop hit type of thing. When I say pop, I am personally referring to like they just want something that's quick, that's catchy, that's a bop, that's like, you know, it doesn't last long on the chart. So what she is heading towards is becoming comfortable with creating music that is more in tune with her emotions, creating activity, not activities, creating um, 
projects that bring her fulfillment, that speak to people. Maybe I'm seeing like, she would love to sing gospel for some reason. I'm seeing her like in a church, just like letting spirit be. And she's singing from the heart rather than singing for a result. Um, there's a want to be closer to people and closer to people who still feel feelings. When you are, for her, she is in a space when it that when it comes to business, you're looking at results, you're looking at the internet, you're looking at everyone else to see where you will be most successful. But what she craves and what she will thrive from is being in a space where she is valued as a person and as the emotional being that she is. I think that she has way more emotional experiences, very intense emotional experiences than anybody else with this queen of cups here. Maybe not anybody else, but she just has very deep emotional experiences. Like she can walk into a room and feel the energy and be like, this energy is pushing on me and I don't like it. And this, like when she feels something, she feels it. And that is her gift. She is deeply, deeply in tune with her own emotions. She can sense things. And so it means that the people around her, they are like her own personal troop of light workers who support her and encourage her like deeply. Like this is a person who I can only say that she feels everything. This is a real sensitive artist here. And so her internal battle would be, how do I become what I want to be while staying who I am? I don't want to lose myself in trying to achieve and attain just to have a ghost in a shell of an experience where I have the things, but I don't feel how I want to feel. How do I balance that? How do I overcome that? How do I maintain my clarity with who I am? Is that too much to ask for? That's where that question is coming from, where it's like, am I doing enough? Am I, but it's not like, am I doing enough for them? Am I doing enough to make sure that my soul is nurtured in this process. For some reason, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing is like a clock. Like we are in a time where artists, especially music artists, they're so readily available. And we have so many people who are music buffs who now have access to more information about their favorites album sales about their streams and it's making the industry really it's kind of like it doesn't feel like how when you would hear that one song and you would just like that song on its own it's feeling like people are being forced on us now normani does not want to be forced on people it's like when you find that one song and you're like who sings that that's the feeling that she wants to create for people. And that in itself is mysterious. It's an elegant form of connection. That's what she wants. She doesn't want to be like, you know, like, oh, like we're tired of her. She comes, they play this song all the time. Like it's more like an indie artist type of vibe that I'm getting for her. It's kind of like, and I don't even know that much about SZA, but this is the message that I'm getting. It's kind of like when only a select few of people knew about SZA and she was just like this little thing, this little hidden treasure, but then she, you know, became big, but was still happy in her career. That is what I see happening for Normani. Like it's about her finding her own space. Um, I'm also getting another example here. And I was just talking about not comparing, but for example, for demonstration purposes only, so that you guys can understand the message. It's kind of like how people 
it's weird with Chloe Bailey's career, people kind of like expected her to be like the next Beyonce, which was not what she was meant to be. It wasn't that she was being the next Beyonce, it was that she was being herself. But somehow the general population came up with this idea that she was supposed to be like Beyonce. And it kind of took away from the appreciation of her as herself. So Normani is in this space where she can think about her as herself. And she wants to build a fan base that actually connects with her emotionally and that support her emotionally. This may not look like a big time success to the chart obsessed people, to the people who are looking for the artists with the most streams, the people who are looking to the artists with the most radio plays, the people who are looking towards numbers. She's not going to satisfy those people. She's going to satisfy a real fan base, a fan base that connects with her and cares about her. That is what she is going for. And she's clear with that message. I mean, she knows what she wants emotionally. She knows what she wants with her connection with her brand. She knows what she wants to produce and she's going to do that. So that is something that we can expect to see from Normani. It is not going to look like major overnight success where they're overly promoting her. We are seeing someone who has a long career of, I'm really genuinely connected with people that care about me as a person. So I see a person that is like, it's just, she's so sweet. She's so humble. She definitely has high standards for herself but she also has grace for herself. You know, you need grace in this life. You cannot move forward and you can if you want. I don't suggest it or recommend it, but being in competition or constantly trying to find satisfaction from results, numbers, industry success, Whatever the big execs, the big record executives, or the big companies want, trying to live that life is not for everybody. There are people that naturally come into their success and they're big. Then there's this whole other kind of culture that goes into music. And it's where they're like obsessed with numbers. It's which artist is doing the most sales. And that is not what music at least this is the energy and the message that's coming through that's not what music should be that's not why am i hearing archangel sandal font so she gets messages through her music as well she might listen to a lot of classics um i can definitely see that whitney houston is in her playlist she listens to music that makes you feel and that's not going to be popular all the time, but it's going to be the most impactful. So I see that she is going to be like connecting. I see her in multiple countries connecting with people for real, like really connecting with people. And then she's going to have those, you know, not one hit wonders. What is the word? She's going to have those big hits where it's popular on the radio, where everyone knows that song. So there is a genuine movement for her to connect and be small. So kind of like, here I am for demonstration purposes only. Remember when Erica Badu was like Erica Badu and you just kind of like found her where she came? <laughs> and it's not like, Oh my God, Erica Badu versus Beyonce. Like that kind of thing where you found the artist. That's what she is. That's the phrase I'm getting. She's a found artist. She is not like, I don't want to call her an indie artist. She's a found artist. Someone that you hear once in a while and you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I tune into this gem? And you listen to her whole album and then that whole album becomes a part of your playlist. That's the type of artist that she is and that she is growing into and that she will continue to be. It's gonna be like, uh, like long-term success, but more of a under the surface type of success. Not everybody has to be this 
loud, obnoxious, in your face, successful artists right when their music career starts. And we like, think about it. We think that artists have to be that way because we have the internet. And as these artists have developed over the years, they have, we have basically like been, we've been receiving their success so quickly and for so long that we think like, oh, this, if it's not like this and it's not popular, but real music people will appreciate the real music, okay? That's what it means. Real people, real music lovers will appreciate real music. We don't need it to be like, why is she not successful or as successful as Beyonce? We don't need that anymore. Why is it? It's like, obviously, because they, guess what? Beyonce was not always where she was. She started off small. We don't need to push people to be that big and make the mass population believe that everyone is as big as that. It's kind of like what's going on. It's going, what's going on with Tyla. It's like, everyone's believing that she is this big star sensation because of how big her push was and how much media attention she was given behind her viral videos. And it's like, you start to believe that this is the biggest successful star. It does not always have to look like that. And it's not always true. There are people who will develop their own fan bases and who will have successful, happy music careers. that are not like, I, now that you have all this, you gotta push and pull travel here, travel there, like no more forcing. We don't want to force this. We want it to happen in divine timing. She wants her success to be divine timing, divinely guided. Something that is really, really for her, okay? This is what I love. This is the type of energy that I really do like. I like when people actually want to connect spiritually to their own craft or their own form of expression. It's just nothing more beautiful than this. I just realized I didn't have my other light on. I'm so sorry if this video is like dark and contrasted, but I didn't turn on that light for some reason. Oh gosh, we'll see how this comes out in post production. But um, yeah, so Miss Normani is going to have a fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling career. I also see that the people that are following her that really do like her, they're going to be happy with the projects that she push, she pushes forward with. Um, I see a deepening of connection. I see someone who is caring about other people. I see someone who is a real sensitive soul. I love when there are real artists like that, where it's not just about the money. It's not just about the success and the numbers. It is actually a real life artist. And that's what I see her being like. I just see her like seeing a fan like and really like hugging them because she really feels like their life is precious or hugging a kid because she feels like their life in that moment, in that moment is the most important moment. And this is, it's clear. It's clear. We don't have to believe in the lies about what people would have wanted to say that she was, right? The lies about, like not every artist is the big diva and all this stuff. Some people are just really just chilling and doing their thing. And she's one of those people that are chilling and doing their thing. So that is all that I have for Miss Normani. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on those post notifications. And please, 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 if you have any requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. I love doing these videos on requests and creating the videos that you want to see. It makes me so happy to do that. And it gives me something to read on and to talk about. And if you haven't checked out my previous videos, go ahead and check out those videos as well and leave a like, comment, or share that video if you really do like it. With that being said, thank you for watching. You know what I want you to do. I always want you to stay happy. Stay healthy. Peace out.